Good morning, guys. Today we are up in the Love Loft. We've kind of got it rearranged here. We're going to be opening up this passageway into the apartment. While Jules and I began working on the apartment, Sarah here is going to give Hi. you guys a tour and show you the context. Take the camera, Sarah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Bye. So, like Dad said, this is the Love Loft. This is Mom and Dad's room. Going down the stairs here, we enter the living room and kitchen. This is the love loft up here. Coming down here, we have the living room and the kitchen. Tux is at the door wanting to be let in. And behind me here, guys, we have two bedrooms and the bathroom and the laundry room. First thing we're gonna do is take this paint out here, make the whole window lighter. That's one of the neat tips that we actually learned from subscribers. Yeah. So Jules is gonna take this out. It's actually in backwards because when we, when we added this addition, we needed to put the window back and um, so we just put it in backwards. Well, that way we had access to it. We yeah. could open it from the inside. True. Coming outside, we have the front of the house. This is where we just were, the living room and kitchen. And then up there is mom and dad's bedroom. And this is the connection that's going to be opened up, connecting the house and the apartment over there. Colin's staying over here in the trailer, so you can see all of our dwelling space right here. And so this is the wall that they're cutting open right now. This morning when we got up, Marty's like, do you want to take down a wall with me? I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. So that's what we're doing. We're being destructive today. This is actually super exciting because now we will have access to the apartment without having to go outside, which is really fun. Check out the newspaper. Wow, how redneck are we, Marty? We're pretty redneck, man. <laughs> we got window and backwards and newspaper to top it off. <laughs> Rick. Hi, Ray. Good morning. How are you, sweet girl? <laughs> All right, now we're in the apartment, guys. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to try to do it one handed. Oh, it's light. It's way lighter. Set it down here. This was the first window we put in, wasn't it? It was the very first window we ever very put in. First window. And over here is the door that leads to mom and dad's bedroom. So as you can see, this is not finished, but there is going to be another door here leading into um, the apartment. Hi. That's right. Hey. <laughs> and there'll be a stair. There'll actually be a step right down here. There's be a step because it, it is a little, right? Like it's a little. It's almost too. It is pretty. Almost too what? Yeah. Almost tall. too low. But I mean you'll, low. You'll step down and. <laughs> You're too it. tall. <laughs> it's not low for me. It's like perfect for me. That's true. But yeah. Anyway. Mosquitoes. Have we told you how much we love mosquitoes? Hmm. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be so cool, Marty. Just whoosh, walk on through to the apartment. Oh, I had another idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> because, you know, it's kind of dark up here a little bit. Yeah. And it was really cool that we could see through these corners right here. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So maybe they sell a, like a one-by-one one window. Hmm. And we could put a one-by-one one window right here and a one-by-one one window over here okay and then um you know you could look out and like you could see how much snow's on the roof or if it had snowed or yeah whatever that's a neat idea yeah next step is to take the plastic off of this section right here hey sir, All right, sir. <laughs> Hi. welcome back to the house Great. welcome back to the program <laughs> pull away One thing that we're gonna have to deal with is this electrical right here. So you're gonna lose the plug on that side. Yeah, that's okay, because our bed isn't gonna be here anymore. So right. that's fine. We're gonna get that wire out of there. Then we'll take the Sawzall and we'll cut right down in between these two boards. And then this right here should come out. Why do you put them in backwards? I don't know, just for fun. It's upside down. It's not upside down, you can do it either way. But like the eyes should go on top. And then that's his mouth. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's an upside down smile. <laughs> yeah, because he's doing backflips. That's how happy he is. He kind of looks like he's being tortured and is like crying out <laughs> instead of being happy. Yeah, we want a happy house. All right, we'll put them all in the other way next time. We're gonna come out here and unplug the electricity just for a minute so Marty can take care of that wire so in there. Said to unplug the extension cord. Is this that the one? Uh huh. Yep. Okay for the house. Okay, it's unplugged. Hi, chickies. Hi, buddy. Everybody's so happy this morning. 
working in the dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> you put it in. He's happy now. Yeah, I put it in happy for you. <laughs> this might have been the first outlet we put in too. Probably. It's a temporary yeah. outlet. It's still yeah. temporary because we got to wire this whole part of the house still. We just have a few outlets in critical locations. Thanks for making him happy. Welcome. He looks awesome now. Just take all the insulation out of these bays. Yep. Ooh, look at that. It looks pretty good behind it. Dry, eh? It looks dry. Sweet. Hey, nice. We did something right. <laughs> we did something right. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's so cool. awesome. Yeah, dry, no mold. What's that stuff? I don't know. Hopefully it's not mold. <laughs> Nothing. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check this one. It is dry though. What do you think? You think that's mold? I was going to be so proud of us. No, it's a spider egg. Spider. No, 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 like the black stuff. Oh, right here? Yeah. I don't know. I don't it's think like, so. It's like, it is like super dry in there. Oh, there's mold down there. Oh, wow. Yep. Look at that, guys. That's evil stuff. But evil. This one actually has it too on the bottom here. Yeah. Why is there mold down there? Well, because when we first moved in here that very first winter, right, we were trying to get out of those tents. It was already freezing cold. It had already mm -hmm. snowed. And we moved up here and we had no heat in the house yet. So we put plastic over that opening there. We had no windows downstairs, no doors. And uh, we heated this area up here with two of those buddy heaters, which are not vented, right? And so all of that moisture from us cooking up here, yeah. living up here, breathing. breathing, all of the moisture from the buddy heaters, right? Because they put off a lot of moisture was coming into this space. We started that, I think before we got the plastic or something. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's because we had a ton of moisture in here. Yeah, build up that very first winter. Yeah. So but that's it's not, it. It's not too bad. Mostly just right there. Yeah. There must've been a gap under the plastic or something where it was getting out. Mm -hmm. But hey, we're cutting that part out anyway. <laughs> we'll see when we open up the rest of the house, what it looks like. Yeah, hopefully. downstairs should be no mold. Yeah, hopefully it'll be really good. I'm gonna take this stuff down to the garage. Oh, hey, you know what? We'll probably just use it in here. Really? Yeah, okay. because we gotta insulate in there. Okay. We're gonna go with the Wrecker blade here says it's for wood with nails in it. And that's what we got. We got lots of nails, probably. It's barely long enough, dude. Huh? It's barely long enough? Barely. Let's see. Are we ready to do this? Okay. Let's try it. Sarah, would you go grab the hammer? I think there might be two, a red one and a wood-handled one that are out there. Oh, you guys picked them up. Wherever you guys picked them up, probably, and put them away. Okay. Can you go grab those two? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We got a problem. The um, saw is really being pinched by these boards together, and I think we're gonna try to solve that by putting a wedge in here, wedging that apart, and then we'll only cut the nails and the OSB on the other side. Oh, it broke, huh? Just broke the blade off. Oh, bummer. And it's hot. <laughs> hmm. No problemo. We got bunches. Sarah said that the UPS driver just dropped off our sponsor's banner for the meetup. Sarah, we should open it. This is it right here. All right, let's see it. All right. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, cool. Oh, Sarah, that looks great. Good job, Sarah. Sarah actually designed this. Thank you. It looks awesome. I like, I like the colors turn out really well. I also like the gradient in the colors. Yeah, it's me really too. pretty. See, it's, so it's like, it's kind of subtle. It's like blue. It's definitely blue up here. And then it softly turns to turquoise at the bottom. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. This is exciting. And it's super real fun. Marty, what are you doing? <laughs> Ooh. That's how we're gonna get back and forth from now on. No. <laughs> Cutting from this side. Oh, really? It'll just be a little easier. Okay. Get Using our feet. laundry basket as a step ladder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's definitely free. Wow.
Good thing your toes were out of the way. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> you did it. I did it. Cool, man. We just got to cut that off. We're good to go. Yeah, that's pretty good construction. You had to work pretty hard to get that off. Yeah. All right, so you're going to take that big hunk of wall down. Sarah, you can get this. Carry it out with that two by six. Thank you, Sarah. Of course. So I think I have hand. the hardest job. <laughs> It's the grossest. That's the one with the mold on it. Okay. And this one too. <laughs> now I'm carrying two pieces, Dad. <laughs> Those three, actually. Wow. Definitely the hardest job. Let's go out to our lumber yard. <laughs> it's come in handy. All of our scrap wood. This is our lumber yard, you guys. <laughs> it's mainly just scrap wood that we want to keep around in case we have projects that come up. Actually, Seth used it just the other day to make that rebar bender. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. So and we're going to use that old cake. Yep, for the garden. So we're going to use these for the garden. I think Colin's going to do something awesome with that today. But these are basically just pieces that pretty much don't serve any purpose. Might be firewood later. And then we kind of have it organized by size. We've got two by fours here two by sixes and then that kind of just gets bigger and then we've used most of our other really long wood so it's pretty good and then of course we've got our metal roofing here and now we got that we'll have to take it apart so we can recycle it yeah repurpose i guess more than recycle i was gonna go down and then outside and around to go to the apartment to finish up the laundry but look at this Ta -da! <laughs> I could just walk through. This is really fun. And now I'm in the apartment. That is so cool. We are using the laundry center. It's fun to not have to go to the laundry mat. Feel very, very blessed. We're climbing higher. We'll touch the fire. It's all that we know. We'll never let go. We're wild and free. Got all the we need. We're flying around. That is the nicest insulation we've done so far. <laughs> it's like perfectly straight and beautiful. I think we're getting better over time. By the time we're finished with our house, man, I think we're gonna want to fight our house. <laughs> So we got these um, baffles, this venting system for the attic. We were gonna use the pink insulation board, but it's so expensive that it's not really worth it. So we're going with this and some pink fiberglass insulation instead. Marty says it's pink, but it totally looks purple to me. What do you guys think? Pink or, pink or purple? purple? I'm thinking pink and purple. Huh, it's the same color. Uh -huh. It's the same color. This one's way darker. <laughs> You guys need to settle the debate. Is it pink or purple? I say purple, Marty says pink. Tell us down in the comments. This is pink, look. Pink, pink, pink. Yep, that's pink, all right. Okay, go hold it up to the other one. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, what? You're right. <laughs> it's purple. But I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I sorry. Think we need... No more distractions. We're gonna go with the R21 and put it up there in the ceiling. I love that idea. Yeah, it'd be better if we had like our 30 something, but we just don't have enough space up there to put it. So we're going with the R21. And it's a lot less expensive. Way less expensive than those purple <laughs> boards of insulation that look pink. <laughs> Went ahead and got all of the supplies that we need to finish off this space in here, this connecting part from the love loft over to the apartment. Look at that, Bam, baby, right? And so we got all those supplies and we're also gonna go ahead and go ahead and pre-drill all of the, for the, all the stuff for the electrical. Planning on putting a light right up here. Probably put a light up over here as well. And maybe we talked about putting a skylight here in the center. Maybe that's a possible future thing. So we want to plan for that. We're running the electrical row of outlets along here. And yeah, we got to get busy. 
putting in the rest of the insulation. Little change of plans, we got a different project that needs our attention. This right here is Mario, as Julie likes to call it. This is the little red 96 Tacoma that Seth is gonna be buying and it's gonna be his truck right here. So we're gonna try to give him a little surprise and fix it up a little bit for him while he's gone. But first of all, we gotta try to get the thing started. It hasn't run in, uh, what do you think, months, huh? Yeah, months. Months and months. So it's got a dead battery. Seth can afford to buy this truck because, well, he's a really good saver and he's been editing videos for us for a while. So he saved up enough to be able to purchase it. That's good, it wasn't even making any noise before. Probably not ready yet. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Cool, it starts. Not only did it have a dead battery, it's got a flat tire too. So, brought out the handy air compressor. Fill it up. We'll give it for a test drive. What do you think, Jules? Oh, yeah, it's a great idea. So you can kind of tell how long it's been since it's been driven. The hubs are still locked from the winter snow. <laughs> Oh man, those things are tight. All right, turn it off and see if it'll start again. That's still. Bummer. It's a no-go. Hopefully the battery's not dead. Realizing like, I'm not gonna charge anymore. Well, we're gonna have to jump it again. It's kind of lame because we already moved the car. Ended up getting the truck going, took it down to town. Let me show you what we got for it. Ended up having to get a brand new battery for it. We got down there, we let it run for a long time before we left and we drove all the way to town. We got down there, turned it off and it barely started. So we're like, uh oh. All right, pull into the AutoZone parking lot. They did a battery test on it. Turns out the battery was pretty bad. It wasn't all the way bad, but it was pretty bad from 2014. Replace the battery right there in the parking lot. Really cool, guys. And check it out. Brand new tires, man. Ooh, baby. Got some Goodyear Wranglers on there. Yeah, all season tires. So he should be set here for a while. Cool. Don't tell him, though. Shh. It's a secret. When he comes home, he'll see it. He's at camp right now, by the way. So we got that taken care of. Check it out guys, oh, it's done. Done to the point where we wanted to get it, right? This is insulated, sealed up so that the mosquitoes cannot get into the house anymore. Ah, oh, it's nice, man. It's nice to have this done. It's nice to have this walkway come right through here. I'll show you, there is one step right here, but when you come up it, it's like totally natural. You don't even really know it's there. So we're connected, apartment, bam, to the love loft, to the rest of the house. Let's cruise on in here, see what everybody's doing. Whoa, what's going on in here? Colin, he's uh, doing some dishes. Yeah, just cleaning up. Cool. Everybody else, I guess they're not in here right now. Cruise right out here. We started off this video talking about, talking about this guy right here, right? And expanding this out. That's coming up in the next video. We ordered the roofing, it's in. We've got the supplies for the rafters and all of that. So starting in the next video, we're gonna tear all this down and extend that roof out. Guys, if you wanna see what it was like when we first moved to our property and we were living in tents, there's a video right over here you can go ahead and check out, or we picked out this video right down here. We hope you guys have a really great day and keep smiling.